I want us to just soak up this moment. There will be seven moves, and this is the first one. Remember that Pilates in itself is slow. So I want you to start off by assuming <coughs> the tabletop position like this, everyone. <coughs> then you're going to lift your left leg up, extend the leg, and we're going to slowly go up and down. Remember that somatic or Pilates in itself is a slow movement. Well done. Five more on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Let us change legs. Elongate that leg, tight core, and just go up and down. Remember that Pilates is a nice, slow movement. Well done. No rush. For five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done, well done, <coughs> well done, guys. <coughs> Still in that tabletop position, elongate your left leg. And what we're going to do, we're going to just take it to the right behind us. And as we take it to the right, we turn our head to see, to look. And if you can, you should be seeing your feet at all times. So what you're going to do, allow your head to follow your feet. Well done. For five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done. Well done. Change legs. Elongate. Just allow your head to follow your foot. Well done. For one, two, three, four, and five. Well done. Well done, guys. Well done. All right. Third move that we are going to do, still in the tabletop position. Remember, guys, tight core left leg take it up and out like this so it's in and out in and out well done let's go for 10 this time one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, well done. Change. Or ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Well done, guys. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, we are going to roll onto our back now. So we have completed three moves. Before I move on, or while I'm moving on to that, our back, doing it on our back, I want to introduce this. This is a resistant row, and this is what it does. So I would say for people who, and at this time I've just demonstrated how it is used. So for people who have difficulty lifting their legs, you want some support. This is what this band does. right so this band you can get it on Amazon you can just search online eBay wherever that's where you can get that resistance band okay so while on our back what I want you to do just lift your left leg tight core and let's just be going up and down. Look at the position I mean, of my foot. So you bring it in like that. Well done, guys. Take in the music. Remember, it's no rush. Let's do for 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Well done, well done. Change leg. Correct positioning. Tighten your core as well. For ten, nine, eight, seven. Well done, well done, guys. Well done. Okay. Now let's lift both legs. Bring in both legs like this. And what we're going to do, starting with the left, we're going to tap, bring it back in, go to the right, tap, 
well done type core guys when you're doing it tap no rush just enjoy the music well done Remember as well that you can stop at any time, adjust your core, remember, tight core, and then bring it back in. If you had to stop, go down, go down, go down, correct positioning, be sure that your back is well sunken into the floor. Tight core for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, well done. Shake that off just a bit. Well done, guys. Well done. Okay. What if we bring both legs in the air like this we are going just going to gently open and close for some people if you wish to bend your leg like this it's fine well done That's for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, And one. Well done, guys. Shake that out. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. The next one that we are going to do. Still. Legs in the air. Okay. What we are going to do. One to one side center it's not the easiest but we can do it go back up let us start with the left leg this time one two to the other side bring it back three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Remember these moves you can practice at any time for somatic. And just remember. That somatic is all about releasing the tension in the hips. So, this is one of the least complicated ways of doing it. 
as it opens your hips. This move. Well done. Assume your position. Turn out your feet like that. Stay in that position for a little while. Nice core as well. Engage your core. Well done. As we listen to the music, as we take in the music, let us focus. Well done, guys. Let's walk to the front now with this one. Because then, when we, as we go back, what we are going to do, we are going to sit in that position. Well done. If you can, hold the, your ankle as well. Just sit in that position. As we listen to the music, listen to your body as well. Nice. The good thing, walk to the front, guys, is that this is something that you can do while you are watching telly. This whole Pilates somatic exercise is something that you can do while you watch telly. Okay, let's push ourselves gently backward and forward. If you can, open your legs still wider if you can. Just push yourself gently to the back. No rush. Nice, tight core. Well done. Move your body. Listen to your hips. Think about everything that is stressing you. And as you think about them, I want you to just meditate. Remove them one by one. It's like you're unpicking them. Well done. Close your eyes, allow your hips, allow your mind to do the work. And of course, allow your core as well. Well done. For 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and for two, I want you to just push yourself, push your bum to the back and hold it. Just hold it. Yes, it will burn. Your hips, your inner thighs are burning. Come back up for one. And that's it. Well done, guy. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Peace.